So, I guess I'm not going to bed because spirit ain't letting me go to bed. I went and finished my laundry. And something said, go make yourself a little tuna salad because I get super hungry after doing readings. And I'm in the kitchen minding my business. And I promise you, it just felt like there was like spirits walking around in the family room, in the living room, behind me in the kitchen. And I'm looking and looking and I'm hearing stuff, but I don't see nothing. And I'm like, okay, whatever. I said, maybe it's somebody's ancestors lingering around and I need to do my little prayer and my little cleansing and get y'all up out of here because I told y'all the show was over. I was done for the night. I'm not do channeling any more messages. And the vision that I had while I was making my salad was from my, one of my favorite movies and it's Ghost with Whoopi Goldberg. And you know, if you know, she could speak to spirits and that was something that you know just happened and she was like bugged out about like why are you bothering me why are you messing with me and it's like because these spirits know that you can connect with them and i'm <laughs> so i'm in the kitchen and i'm just like yo y'all really gotta go like you're not gonna be having me up all night okay i did what i had to do finish the laundry folded it up because I'm the type of person that's like, I do laundry, it has to get folded up and put away right away. I'm not doing that two, three, four days later. That was just instilled in me. Um, so I'm chilling in my room, you know, putting my scarf on the right way. And wrapped up my hair, getting ready to go to bed. And I look at my phone to see if my videos, my original three videos uploaded. They disappeared. I said, oh, hey. Heck no. I said, I'm not going to bed because I have wrote in on my to-do list that I was doing an X amount of videos today. Like, I had a to-do list today. And and I did everything on my to-do list. But then when I see that I don't have the videos, I said, okay, let me just... These spirits is not going to let me go to sleep until I sit there and do some more videos. So, these videos, these next three videos are going to be videos of release what you need to release. Some of you guys believe when it comes to full moon that you're supposed to be releasing things. So that's what we're gonna do. My personal opinion, I like to work things up and manifest up to the full moon when the moon is full because that means my manifestations are right there. They're all full about to be released to me. Um, and the new moon for me is releasing. But for some of you, you believe now is the time to be releasing and I'm going to respect that. And to get your ancestors off my off my back, okay? Let's get <laughs> what do you guys need to release? Because I promise you, they was not about to let me sleep. And then when my bedroom light started flickering again, I said, "Come on now, now I gotta really deep clean my room after these readings because they're not about to bother me tonight." Some of you need to check your altars and throw out and discard any food. Okay, that is spoiled, that is rotten, all right? For some of you, uh, you might want to put add Florida water as an offering to your ancestors. Um, they want you to home make it, though. They don't want no store-bought Florida water. They want you to make it. Get the vodka, get the orange peels, the lime peels, palo santo, cinnamon, you, whatever you put in yours. Make it and put a jar up there on there for them. Um, somebody else needs to wait a second before they make a decision or before they do something. And before I even did these readings here, I had did a tweet about how you need to let go before you crash out. Because I feel like somebody might want to crash out, but you need to pause for a second before you do that. Because um, I feel like there's going to be some truth revealed to you. And you may need that truth. And that might also stop you from crashing out, okay? Um, or the truth is just going to be revealed to you some way, shape, or form. You may be getting the truth from a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. The truth that you need to hear is coming from me, with me being an Aquarius. That could be something that resonates with you guys. Now, for some of you, what you need to release 
I'm seeing heavy water energy here. So, of course, straight off the bat, that is emotions that um, you are holding on to that no longer serve you. Feeling betrayed, feeling left out, feeling ghosted, feeling like you're unworthy. All those negative low vibrational feelings, because we're not going to make a list of them. You know which ones you're holding on to. You need to release that. If somebody has done you wrong, you need to release that. If somebody has put you in a third-party situation, you need to release that. Um, if you're putting people in third-party situations, you need to stop that. Um, one thing I know, and one thing I know for certain in, this, in the spirit realm, you will lose financially. So blessings that may have been meant for you that were supposed to come to you, you may not get them. And that's a form of, um, of poverty, uh, a form of financial loss, okay? Even though you may not have even received it or knew you was going to receive it, you just didn't get it because of the fact that you are putting people in third-party situations, okay? It could be with a contract with a company um, that you could have had, but you didn't because you cheated on your spouse. Like, it's it's stuff like that. Um, for some of you, you need... Shoot, some of y'all will be releasing baby mothers and baby daddies. And I don't like using that word. It's like... You're just going to let go of what they've done to you, okay? Um, and the reason why you may be labeled as that is because y'all guys are no longer together. And the reason for it, even though you created a family with one another, y'all just realized that y'all were not, it was not best for you guys to be together anymore. Um, even though you created a family with one another. Um, this could be divorce as well. Like, there's some cheating here in this energy. And somebody needs to let go of who... Broke whoever's trust. There's a need. And I, I said in my video that I do not encourage people to believe in their partners. Like, I really don't. But there is somebody that is watching my videos. Like, there, too much has been done in a relationship for somebody. And I picked that up a little bit. But I did not want to get into it because that ain't my place. People leave when they ready to leave. I don't care how much of a friend... One, you only going to complain to me one time anyway about a, a partner. And I'm going to turn around and I'm going to ask you, well, what do you plan on doing? And you tell me you leave and you don't leave. Well, that will be the very last conversation that we ever have about you leaving. A, no, that none of my business. But there, there is an ancestor spirit guy that is very adamant about somebody being with someone and y'all really think that this was your person, even though y'all had a long-term commitment, even though y'all made a family with each other, like, this is not who you're supposed to be with. Like, there's a divine masculine at the bottom of this deck. There is somebody else for you. You may not see it right now, but you will never get this person unless you release this right here. And I feel like cheating even transpired in this situation because of the simple fact, like, if you were, you were in the left. You would not have left this person if they did not cheat. You would have not left this person if you did not cheat. Like, there is something here, okay, with a family dynamic. And I feel like there was a lot of arguing, a lot of, like, somebody's chest is heavy. Somebody don't even want to talk no more. Somebody is completely disgusted. But this is energy that needs to be released. Like, you just have to let it go. If this has already happened already and you're still holding on to it, let it go. If you are going through it right now, let this shit go. Go speak to somebody. Go to a counselor, a therapist. Go take kickboxing. Go take a spiritual bath. Do what you have to do to get back to you. Because this right here is a test. This right here is going to make or break if you are going to have more and be blessed or if you're going to crash out and you're going to have some BS happen to you. Because I feel like your ancestors and spirit guides do not want you crashing out because your crash out is going to be too much of a crash out and it's going to end up somebody going to jail. Somebody like There's going to be a lot of hurt. And before you crash out, you need to let it go. Like... That's it. That's all. Like, I feel like you went through the ringer with this person. You went through so many ups and downs with this person. And it's just like, some of you need a message from your ancestors and you need to clean that altar. Go to them. They will give you the answer that you're seeking.